Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Pixel Shadow Extreme Survival. And, uh, whoa, that guy's almost in my house, but he's not. I've made a few little tweaks off camera. Nothing more than placing some chests, I promise, and digging some holes through the floor, and you know what, let's just jump right through. And that's honestly, I think it. Oh, and a little tweak here. So check this out. You know how we had the uh, the leaves just going in here? Well, I now have, whoops, I now have an auto crafter that's turning those leaves into oil extract. And then the oil extract is getting shuffled down into this chest here. Uh, and I cunningly did this so it all uses one blinky plant. Use an insulated cable here so this uh, itemized injector it just goes off the blinky plants and then this injector goes off of a no detector checking for a battery that is full and a no detector checking for a furnace that is burning so pretty much what happens now and I really don't have any way to demo this is when the battery gets low any lower than I don't know what the number is but once it drops down to the first section where you see some of the non full meter whatever when it's not at the fullest point like it is now this no detector will toggle off if there's not a active fire burning in the furnace this one is off and when the blinky plant turns on it'll send a message to this injector which will then shove something in this furnace turning this on keeping anything more from being injected in so I can now use the bottles of oil and I won't get a furnace full of 99 bottles, essentially. That was very long winded. The reason I did this change up here, yeah, I was having real issues. Like, so say I wanna throw just all my junk in one chest and then sort it. At this point, I'm sorting out leaves to go to the auto crafter, no problem. Sorting out food to go down, no problem. Sorting out more foods, to go in another direction to get there. I cannot sort all of the metals with one tube. There are more metals than the one, two, three, four, five, six slots that are provided. Plus I do have to send wheat seeds to here, which I'm still uh, filtering out flour, which would come from wheat seeds. So if I do some of the sorting myself manually right here at these chests and just put the food in one, put things to get ground in another and put everything else in the last, or however I have these set up, because I honestly don't remember. Food goes to the center, it looks like. Yep, food to the center, ores, which is pretty much going to be most of what's going on here. And then junk, this is just all the other random stuff that needs to be sorted. So that could pretty much just get set up right now. But I need to get some more injectors and one more blinky plant. I think I have plenty enough saplings to get the blinky plants. So let's go ahead and get that right off. Yes, please make me one of those. And I will go ahead and pop that right in here. And then I need an item wise injector, which I don't know what these cost. Ah, simpleness. Plastic sheets, yeah, I've got those. Raw iron, I can get that. Sticks and some mice crystals. Well, there's that, there's that. I just need some more sticks now. I feel like I should have a bunch of those. And so I do. Now let's go ahead and craft. Oh, and that gives me two actually, so that's perfect. Let's throw those up here so I can use them. And I think if I shift click, nope, nope, yeah, go away. A uh, screwdriver will fix that. This always takes me forever. I don't know how screwdrivers work. No, I don't want to do that. I want to make a point down. There we go. And uh, oh, that may have been actually the direction I needed. And point down. Okay. Uh, that chest has food in it. Yep. So let's go ahead and 
put a tube coming off of there and go into there and let's get rid of that that's super messy but it does get the job done for right now okay so this little thing sorts puts the wheat into the auto crafter and then I'll puts the flour puts it down here great at some point that needs to get stuff cooked this does not need to be here anymore that can just be a a normal one and I can eliminate all of these which for some reason that single directioned one took forever to to mine which I don't understand okay so this will just be everything that needs to get mined so that is perfect uh, possibly yep Food's just going to get processed a little faster than anything else because it gets two blinky plants to it. It might be better to have this be the metals because I feel like I'm going to be putting a lot more of them in here. But whatever, for now, that's fine. I can also now fill this space up. That I'm going to leave open because the leaves are now just going to kind of go all the way over the ceiling. And while we're at it... I've been meaning to do this for some time and have not done it yet. Uh, I need some glass. I kind of did uh, yeah, uh, kind of some hacky stuff. It's not hacky at all. It's totally legit. You can use glass and super glow glass in the table saw. Yeah, you know where this is going. And slice it super thin. And it's still as bright as a full node. So I'm going to make some super glow glass. Perfect. And then we're going to chop it up. And I was very impressed that this works. And I love it. Okay, so we can make a 1 16th thick slab. So I literally get 16 pieces of glass. Or wait, was that a 1 16th thick? That seems weird. I probably can't do sand or dirt. I think I can do stone tile though. Yeah. Yeah, 1 16th thick. And you get eight of them. That seems weird. And I get eight at a 2 16th thick. Why don't I get 16? Ah, well, who cares? Whatever. It's still a super good deal. It almost feels wrong to do this. Okay, so we have these super thin pieces of glass. And they stick to the ceiling, which is perfect. And I don't think I have anywhere I can demo this, so I'm just going to set something up quick. Even if you have a ceiling that's only two nodes high, you can fit that in and still walk under it. It is the perfect, the perfect lighting method. I was expecting to do, I don't have a, oh, I said you, well, I'm an idiot. I was expecting to do, um, I don't even know what those are called. The, here we go, the glow lights. I was expecting to make a bunch of thin glow lights, which I think are a quarter of a node thick. But, dude, if I've got these, I don't need that. I just need to figure out a pattern to use. This is probably way more than I need. But, come on, when you get these so cheap... Like, who cares? Yeah, I still have two left. Should I just do a, the whole roof as a grid? That seems excessive. It's going to be so bright in here. I love it. Okay, but I need more. I need more glass. Wait. So let's throw the sand in here. I'm going to need more torches. Do I have coal anywhere? I do. I was almost expecting that I had turned all my coal into coal dust. Oh, I didn't realize I still had those. Well, that's alright. Let's make some more. 40 of them. It's going to give me so many glow lights. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of them. Toss that stuff back in there. I don't need it on me. 
Oh, right, and there should be some glass in there. Alright, let's, let's make it happen. Dudes. That used up almost all my torches. But 20 at 8 each. Wow, it's going to be a lot. Probably a lot more than I need to do, so I only do 10 to start with. That gives me 80, which did not work as expected. There we go. I middle mouse clicked expecting to take the stack, and it only gave me 10. All right, so this makes for excellent lighting. I will probably use this in the main levels of my house as well. Just because why not? I need some food real quick here. Chomp, 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 chomp. There we go. And back to the lighting. Okay, so I'm leaving one space running between. Why does this have to be so complicated? And then three spaces between due to math. Thanks, math. Thanks for being cool like that. At least I get one in the corner, that's why. I uh, one there. This is so bright. Should th there should be one here. Should there be one further down? Yes, there should. Okay, now the only issue with this is I can't put pipes anywhere where these lights are. So some of these lights are going to have to go bye-bye. Oh well, life is tough. Life is cruel. This is why you should stay in school. I I think that's I think that's how it goes, right? Life is tough, life is cruel. This is why you should stay in school. I have no idea. I have a feeling I'm doing this wrong. Why does it have to be so complicated? Okay, so there's one space between the close and three between the far. Okay, that's that's good enough. I don't know why I'm leaving this open. This should get closed off. I don't need this open space. That's better. Alright, so much light. And I still have 58 slabs left. So, let's just go on the first floor. Let's just light it up. Um, let's do something a little easier this time. Because that got complicated. And I don't think I need that many lights. Anyways. Alright, so. So what's the plan? What's the method? I have no idea. I'm making it up as I go. I think... And we can put them on walls. That is stellar. Let's do something. Wait, what? Like that? How does that look? It's one away, one away, one away. That works for me. I mean, I'll have to wait till it's dark to see how it actually works as far as lighting goes, but I like it. And then maybe we'll just do one every other node here. Or leave two nodes without, and then one with. Why does that not match? How is my building is not spaced right so I can do that? That's horrible. That messes with my OCD. I like things to match. Okay, so we have two off and then two with two off and two with. That works. Let's eliminate those. And then we have two off, two on. And one. And we just do four. Or we go wider and put two there. Alright, so it's pretty dark outside. And it's bright here. And down here, it's bright as day. There's so many lights. I think that's good. 
I guess, just because I have them. Throw them in the corners here, right? Like, some of that light will spill outside then, I expect. And if there weren't all these crocodiles... Oh! Then there's a heron, and there's an octopus. This is a very dangerous place to live. I don't know why I ever moved here. My realtor didn't tell me about all these dangerous animals I live around here. Disappointed in him. I want my money back. Alright. Let's try to figure this out. Or not. Let's just end this episode here because it's 15 minutes long. In the next episode, I'll... These pipes are just too chaotic right now. They need to get organized. So that's going to have to wait for the next episode. We're going to make them beautiful and functional. And we're going to make everything work very good. So thanks for watching. If you uh, want to watch more this series, go ahead and click that link in the corner. And you can catch the whole playlist. I will see you guys next time.